Hello everyone and welcome on into episode, episode or game, game number 134, I want to say, of uh, the Seattle Mariners season here in MLB The Show 21. Let me see what the last number was. Yeah, 133. So, 134, game one number 134. We are under 30 games to go for this entire season to be done. It is wild that that uh, the thing is at this point. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying um, every day at 1 p.m. Pacific time for the last five months or something ridiculous. Uh, I've been playing this game. Um, this might actually be of all time my most played game on Xbox One. Yeah, I think you would have to take Halo, Halo 5 and Master Chief Collection combined to maybe get something competitive. But uh, I don't think there's anything that's really been uh, that I've played this much on Xbox One. And it certainly helps that I play it for like an hour a day. Uh, but 1 p.m. Pacific time right here, youtube.com slash Rex. You can catch all new Mariners action. Just scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. And uh, you'll be good to go. Been a couple of days since I've played. Um, I felt a little under the weather the other day. And then the previous day, I hadn't, I had to watch kids or something. So hopefully I'm on track schedule-wise. That's just a personal note. Um, but uh, yeah. So if it looks bad, that's why. We are in a three-game set against the Houston Astros. This is a rough start. You can tell. You can tell that it's been a couple days because it's a rough start. We are in a series with the Houston Astros. Mariners lead 2 to nothing, which signifies that we will get to open one of these card packs. They are the uh, Allen and Ginter World Champions packs, which is very exciting. Um, Framber Valdez is on the mound for Houston as they look to win at least one game of this series. He is 7 10 with a 4.70 ERA. The Mariners are throwing out Casey Sadler, 15 and 4 with a 2.50 ERA, looking for the sweep, which I would normally be very confident in, but it is in game September 1st. Talked about it a little bit last time. 1 and 4 on opening day games of the month. On the first of the month, I do not play well. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's just coincidence. It seems a little too weird to be just a coincidence, but hey whatever um yeah we have today's game against houston and then we'll have a day off so you'll get a chad champ and then we'll be in arizona for a game a set against the diamondbacks which will have pitchers hitting for us and some uh more strategic managerial decisions that i'll need to make then we'll see houston in houston for three games and then we'll see arizona back in seattle for three games so a lot of houston a lot of arizona uh coming up for you as we enter the final month of the season um we have one big, huge road trip coming up, which is 10 games. Big 10-game stand, three in Kansas City, four in Oakland, three in Los Angeles. Then we'll see Oakland for three more. That's exciting. It's an exciting time to catch you up. We'll see nothing but from here on out, from the 20th on out, we'll see nothing but the Angels and the Athletics for the entire duration of the videos. There you go. Uh, quick standings update. We are four games ahead of the Angels, ten and a half games ahead of the um, of the Astros. The Athletics have two games before they are eliminated in the wild card. The Blue Jays make it a good run here, seven and three in their last ten. They are three games back of the Astros. Cleveland is four and six, and they have just not. They got up to such a hot start, and it was kind of maybe a little bit ballsy to think that they would keep that hot start going. But they have really struggled over the last couple of months, and they're quickly falling out of it. The Red Sox, they're 6-4 and four in their last 10, but they weren't able to get a win last time out, which would have propelled them a little bit closer. But they're still, I'd say, within reach. The Rays, eh, maybe not. Uh, the Rangers and the Tigers, nine games before they are eliminated from wild card contention. Though I would suggest that they would be eliminated from wild card contention already. Jumping on in here, this is the final game of a seven-game homestand for Casey Sadler, Seattle Mariners. We'll go with the green. Weird series against uh, Houston so far. Felt like yesterday's game was the important game to get because of how poorly I played on Mondays, uh, or the first day of the month in-game. Um, Jake Fraley is going to be out for this game, so we'll just actually work with the initial lineup. Ty France, kind of losing a lot of speed there. That's okay. Um, because of because of like how I how I, like I said, 
because of how I played on the first day of the month, I felt like yesterday's game was a must win. We got the win in the first game, 2-1, to one, felt good, and yesterday's game was just bizarre. Seven home runs that even brought us a new line from the... Um, from the announcers, the commentators. Why does my, my microphone seems quiet today? I don't know, is that, what the hell? Hold on, it's really quiet. The show has baseball from the Pacific Northwest and T-Mobile Park in Seattle. The calendar has turned to September and we're ready is that for any better? baseball. No, that's not better Houston at all. Astros and the Seattle Mariners. Now, go, Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and guys, the Mariners Seattle. are looking to break out the brooms Mariners. here at home. Yeah, they play great in this series so far, Maddie. Really taking it to their division rival and a chance to absolutely bury them here today. It's always fun to sweep a series, especially in front of the home fans. So we'll see if they come out and finish the job in this one. Casey Sadler, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid season up to this point. 15 wins on the year. Any better? There, that looks better. I don't know. I... I think maybe I messed up the settings on it on accident when I, I unplugged it and like replugged it in and I think I kind of fucked with it. Hopefully it's not too loud. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. If it is, I apologize. Huh. Anyway, um, weird game in the last game to get seven home runs. Got a new line of dialogue from the commentators talking about how certain batters didn't like hitting, including King Griffey Jr., and Alex Rodriguez, which Rodriguez is kind of a weird pick, but whatever. Ichiro liked hitting here. I imagine he'll be the next number that they retire. Ichiro. Also, there were uh, Casey Sadler's stats. Drop this down there. First pitch on its way. Can't quite get there. It's a beautiful stop. It's a beautiful stop, but I, I just couldn't get there. That's all right. That absolutely should be a base hit. So here's what happened. I had OBS running, and I noticed that it was picking up a lot of background noise, this microphone was. So I unplugged it, and I plugged it back in, and I think that, like, did it didn't like that I did that. All right, Jordan Alvarez... They're wanting to get uh, swings off early here in counts. I am so bad at stopping stolen bases. Oh, okay. I, for some reason, I thought that was going to be a strikeout. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. One out and a runner on second base. Okay, just checking a different setting. Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Lucky that that didn't wasn't fair. Lucky that wasn't fair. Right there, these batters are gonna have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's gonna be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. Another two-two offering. Now a swinging bunt. Alvarez, please. Runner at second here with one man out. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take this. Okay, that's fine. That'll bring up Alex Brickman. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. I 
first offering on its way. Ooh. Here we go. So we have a bit of a slower outfield today. We have Marmalejos in left. So we'll see if that provides anything extra for the Astros or proves bad for the Mariners. Feels like a couple times a game, maybe a couple times a series, we see Fraley make a really nice play out there that prevents a base hit. Framber Valdez, 26 starts, 7-10 and 10 record, 4.70 ERA. 145.2 innings pitch, 117 strikeouts, 74 walks. One of the keys, he needs to start limiting the number of hits and to limit the number of base on balls. Now, I don't think that we're going to get seven home runs again, but a win here would be great. We're at rookie plus batting. Okay, take a look at that sinker. No, a called strike. I take that back. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a sinker, curveball, changeup, four seam. So we have a, actually a couple of uh, similar pitchers on the mound. Primarily off speed with one. Uh, our pitcher has a cutter. They have a four seam fastball, but they're, you know, pitch number three or four. That's a base. That's a base. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. First two batters find a sweet spot. Barrel up perfectly. These fans have to be excited. Middle of the order coming to the plate now. After those first two ABs, this could be a laser show. Digging in next, Kyle Lewis, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball... Ty France has 62 power against left. Oh, drats! Coming into this year. Oh, no! Damn it. been a big season for him in the power department closing in on a home run title this guy's been near the league leading the home runs all season long three home runs zero in his last 10 games wait hold on does that say that it's 10 to 1 in the first certainly not making a mistake at the plate right now i see this guy closing it out and being the home run fuck me that was that was way too aggressive and i was mm. I got people on base and I just got too aggressive. That's not good. He threw like five pitches. I was swinging at everything. Yeah, gross. Now to the play, Carlos Correa. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. Damn. Too bad he didn't have that point oh six nine. You know what I mean? Point oh six nine. Nice. The sex number. First offering on its way. Edge of the zone that time taken and okay. the strike. Fellas, the I'll take it. Entering play here this afternoon. They've got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team. So wait, how is he one for eight of their last ten ball games? Huh? What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense, good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Boom! There we go. We're getting closer to that 1,000th strikeout. I was going to try and get these cards open. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Now, we did have that runner on early, so my timing is slightly off. It's a little fast. Got to settle down here. 
you can see why this team I'm not going to be able to get that open. God dang it. A solid ball club of good hitting and good pitching. And it's always key when you're playing. Hello. I pressed B four times. That evens it up one and one. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game. It's not easy to hit home runs with this day and age with guys thrown with them. I was right over the heart of the plate. Lucky it wasn't more. All day yesterday, they'd like to save a couple of those and use them in this game today. Yeah, we love some of those home runs in the series against Kansas City. Mancini. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. In there, strike one. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Shoots this one over to first. And that is through into right field for a single. Okay. That's all right. like to draw up an 0-2 pitch, D-Row, but from a hitter's perspective, a pretty good job of staying alive 0-2. Yeah, and he did an excellent job on the offensive side. Not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2, but he bowled his neck and he stayed in there. So here's Yuli Gurriel. Ooh, he gave me a strike on that one. That was uh, was going to be ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 10 home runs and 47 RBIs. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. If he's able to dot that sinker down and away and execute that pitch all day, you're going to see a lot of weak contact, and the infield defense is going to be on its toes. There we go. We'll put this one away, and the side is retired. One left for Houston. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Okay. On my part, got to settle down here. Slow down. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He's back in the starting lineup for this Sam Delaplane, number two in American League game. ERA. Marcos Gonzalez, or Marco Gonzalez in fourth. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Here's a sinker. All right, there we go. There we go. It's only pitch number six. right there and we're even at one and set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there hey d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend Matthew Ross very wide strike zone yeah no excuses from the offense today you know coming in when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish oh dang sliced right to right to him whip this one over to first in time for the out and that'll bring in Tom Murphy. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hot oh, shot. Sean. In. Throw in time at first for route number two. That is tough. Now to the plate, here is Dylan Moore for his career in this matchup. He hasn't had much success, just two for 11. Here's the first pitch. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Here comes the 0-1. That's fine, that's fine. No big deal. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. There's a swing and a that was a perfect contact ball. Field. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? And it's gone. 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 Home run. There you go, the Dylan end. Moore. It's a good time to come through. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 17 for him on the season as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. Wow, 
talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb. Damn. One yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very ah, good ah, I was trying to get the thing open. The next batter will be Evan White. Ooh, that one. That one's pretty good. I think I broke the seal on it. I don't... Part of me is like, just fuck it, destroy the box. But the other part of me is like, why? I just can't tell if... That's good. Ooh. Surprisingly uh, bold take there. Come on, just... Just... Ah. Thank God that was low. Come on. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, gotta feel like it's a win for the offense. Okay, found that one off. Probably would have just made it a full count. But... Oh, there it goes. I broke the seal that time. Found that one early. Early. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be oh, shocked if got it. We nailed it. We did it. Three times in a row with off speed. Ooh. That was real late. Keeps Lucky to get to. Uh... Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Home run to strike out. Ah, it's not what you want to see. But a good hit from Dylan Moore, regardless. And with that big long at bat towards the end, we were able to get that pitch count up to 20, which is good. Because it was pretty bad. He threw about 15 in that one, which is good. Top of the third set to get underway, and that brings Corey Lee to the plate. Eight, eight packs of Allen and Ginter World's Champions baseball cards. Open in throughout the season. Right here. First pitch of the AB on its way. Got into a little bit of an auto swing mode in that last uh, that last at bat. Oops. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Lead off knock right there, Dan. How frustrating is it to let that lead off yeah, guy man. get on? Boy, every Second pitcher, team. you want to get that first guy out, you know, it, it, you, the chances of scoring runs are so much more slim when you get that first guy out. Traffic on the bases, now you have to pitch out of the stretch. It's never easy for the pitcher. So up to the plate. Hey, here we go. Nice curveball. I like it. No balls and a strike to count. Keep an eye here on the the runner. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Nope. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Oh! Base hit into right center. That just sliced away from my defender. Holy shit. I thought that was going to be an easy double play. It just sliced away from him. There we go. We're giving up some hits, dealing with some traffic. It's okay. Top three just past 30 pitches here, which isn't ideal. There's a chopper foul off to the left as the count moves to 0 and 2. This one's blooped out toward right center field, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. What the fuck? Well, last time this guy had some success, but he can't seem to get it going here. In fact, he's given up more hits in this one than he did. That was so far inside. God damn it. Stepping in now, Jordan Alvarez as the first pitch sink. 
Come on, dude. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits. What the fuck? How did he get that curveball out there like that? Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Popped him up. Under it here is Seeger to make the play. One gone. Next, it'll be Alex Bregman. First pitch on its way. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Okay, that's... Fine, I guess. Smoke toward third. One there. Relay to okay. All right. Just like that, this we got the run in the bottom of the second and gave it right back, but that's fine. Only did uh, only did one run of damage, so that's fine. Hi, Heidi. prepares for their third turn through the order, and fans of the Mariners have really been treated to a lot of production from this lineup so far. They come into the day tops in the majors in team batting average, and talking with some of the players and coaches prior to the game, many of them told me that's something they take a lot of pride in. Batting average isn't as highly valued as it once was, but they said it's a clear indication that they're doing a lot of good things in the batter's box to help the team collect Ws. Guys? Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. At the plate now is Jose Marmolejos as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Okay. Nine hole hitter. 20 pitches for Framber Valdez. We want to keep, keep pushing that up there. Got to settle down with Sadler on the other side. Wow, he went back to back. Shit. Middle of the plate. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive. Yeah, that's a. It's eleven to three Angels in the third. They scored ten in the first. And another foul ball. Lucky to get contact on that. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. Oh, God. The third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears now back and blows Just smoke stop. by a guy at the letters. Nothing. That's the ultimate challenge pitching. Well, for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. So now to the plate, Donnie Walton. As he'll take a look at ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Downstairs, okay. two balls and no strikes. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Three and oh now. There is no reason for me to swing here. Job That's a good take. Right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. One out, nobody on. Now a sinker. There we go. There we go. As he loses him here, it's ball four. That's okay. A walk is not as dangerous to me as it would be to most teams. Hit into a lot of double plays here. Show a little more patient than the dish and his reward with the base on balls. That was a good at bat. So a runner at first with one out now, and that'll bring in Ty France. From 
come the stretch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Walton, the runner at first. That is why I don't typically like to swing on pitch outs. Ooh, that was a nice curveball. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. The one one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. Okay. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Boy, there's another base hit. This is just Kyle Lewis. Clap, 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 clap. Kyle Lewis. On both sides during the pitchers meeting today. Good plan at the plate. A lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Oh, he can't track it down as this ball falls. Gosh darn it. Ah, that's two of those little weird bloop shots that I don't ever know what to do with. Say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. Good off-speed pitch had him out in front for strike one. I wanted all of it. I wanted it all. Damn it! He's going for the downs. High in the air out to center field. Catch is made. Oh no no! Why did you? Go. The relay throw and the tags there. He's out at third base. It's a double play, and just like that, the inning is over. Mariners forced to. I didn't realize that if you tagged up, it sent second and third. Oh man! I thought it was just going to send the third play. The third. Why the fuck did it send the person from second? He has a 22 speed. I mean, at least we got the one run to count, but that's a huge missed opportunity. I also don't know if he would have been able to get back in time. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. Up the middle. Nice play. Nice play. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line. Look at that. If this keeps up, look at that. Look at the league leaders in Dylan Bundy up with 18, but we have three guys hovering in the top seven there. One angel, and then it's twin mariner, twin mariner. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Fouled away. down the line and this will stay inside the third base bag a fair ball and this will find the wall deep in the corner and he's in there easily at second with a one out double everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year god what a perfect hit what a perfect hit just right down the line there is no one over there for me rolls it all the way to the wall Looked like you maybe thought about a triple, but. So here's Trey Mancini. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now the Cuban import Yuli Guriel trying to bring in the tying run from third here. He's set. Here it comes. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Hit out towards second. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. All right, that'll take care of the top of the fourth. Mariner still up 2 1. Score of the final, uh, or the first game of the series, I apologize. Excuse me. Apologize. Hanniger Murphy Moore coming to the plate for the Mariners. I still can't. That, what a bizarre. That might be the weirdest ending to an inning I have had all season. I just didn't realize it was going to send both of them. If I had known that hitting LB would have sent both, I would have just told third base to go home. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Around first. He's digging for second. That's two, that's two, that's two. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right that away that that hit two. was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt, some people like to crow about homers and towering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. I don't know if they kept him at second. I... Eh, yeah, whatever. Who cares? That's inside. To him runs a bit inside for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1-0. Oh. Ooh. Miss strike one. Both teams with six hits so far. Ball and two strikes. Sean, no, 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 no. What? That bad outside the zone. You got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the heart of those 17 inches. And a sinker dip. That should have been a four pitch walk. Into the dirt, in fact. I mean, at least 3 1. I can understand the first curveball going for it, but the second one, come on. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continues. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Mancini on oh, the grass. Fuck. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So the Second next to bat will be... Pretty sure somebody in the crowd just yelled, What was that? Come on! His first time up. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it lasted bad. That ball was down in a way. He went up. This ball's down and that could bring in a run. It will! 3-1 Mariners, small ball run, hell yeah. There was a video game by my feet, and so I threw it over there, if you're wondering what that clatter was. Let's fucking go. Into the box now, Evan White, as he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. White is one of the very best corner infielders in the game today. Oftentimes, first and third basemen are known for their offensive work, but he's truly a multi-dimensional talent. He really makes an impact on defense, and that makes no, it no, incredibly no. fun to watch every time he takes the field. Yeah, watching him go about his business. First step quickness, his reaction time is unparalleled, able to make all the plays, and he takes a ton of pride in his craft. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. That was, uh, that was a really bad second out. Really dumb second out.
Diving in now, Jose Marmolejos. Fuck. Let's take a look at a sinker here. Too low for ball one. Struck out in his first at bat. It's when they stroll into second base, because I'm sure he just kind of waltzed in like, hey, that's an easy single. I'll just keep moving or I'll just stop here. And then I'm like, no, I'd like you to go to third. And he's like, well, I got to restart the run situation. On a line, that's a base hit. That would have advanced him to third with one away. Now Not shortstop. Got it. At the plate now, Donnie Walton. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. So theoretically, if I hadn't gotten that dumb out, it'd be bases loaded, one away. Walton's already walked once today. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Two and one count now to the Mariners' leadoff batter. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. White on second. Marmolejos on at first with two down. And he fouls this one off. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll go to Correa for the force, and that ends the inning. I don't know if that would have been a double play. That definitely would have been out number two. So I think it did cost me a run. Fuck. I definitely, I, I goofed on that one. There was no reason for me to try and advance him to third, especially that late, and even with a, a ball that short in the in the outfield. Welcome back Bad play. Mobile Park in Seattle, as we but hey, what's new? <laughs> Hi, Heidi. Matt, during the commercial break, I discussed the Astros offense with Houston's manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were behind in the count. That indicates that these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and making it very difficult for the opposition. Why is that guy wearing sunglasses in the dugout? Thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that brings Corey Lee to the plate. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a go. spark to get back in this game. Owen won the count. Now the pitch. Down the third base. Ooh. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. The throw into second. Late. Be in there with a double. I think that's the situation. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kyle Seeger is feeling some soreness in the shoulder joint area. Doesn't appear to be anything that'll keep him out for an extended period of time. However, an ice pack is in his future. He will need to be removed from the game. Now, we... We can put uh, Shedlong Jr. Jr. Come in as the new third baseman now following the injury. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here we go. That's a beautiful sinker. Shedlong Jr. immediately coming in, making an impact. That's what you like to see. We love Shedlong Jr. here. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. Please let him be on the team next year. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. This will kick up against the wall now. And he's in safely at third. As they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. 
Yeah, yeah everyone knows this guy's been oh, having boy. a great year at the plate, but he's not exactly a good sell on the bases. But he turns on the Jets here and makes it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. Jordan Alvarez stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. and No hits to this point. Here's the 1-0. Foul, 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 foul. Thank fucking God. From the belt, the pitch. A ball and two strikes. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Two runs, eight hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Foul, foul, foul. That one away and he stays alive. Three as the sinker misses just off the black that time. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself. Are you kidding me? That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. <laughs> you have got to be shitting me, dude. Runners are at first and third, one away. swing and he just fouls this one away and he takes ball two and it's two and are one. you fucking kidding me there in the inning now he are you kidding me over with sooner than later so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do now a chopper to second this will be a tough turn there's one on the first god damn it fuck you um Fuck you in your fucking face, you stupid bitch! Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. God damn it! Runner at first with two gone, and ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. He's set, and the pitch. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Bregman is off of first with two away. And he takes strike two. How? How are those both strikes and those two you called were fucking balls? Bullshit. Bull fucking shit, motherfucker. Now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. That cost me a fucking run. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Boy, that's a great take right there. He might have been frozen by that pitch, but it missed by just enough to give him life in this A.B. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth. Heinous fucking bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me with that garbage? Pitch. All right, time to refocus here on the offensive side of things. There we go. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. Anytime you're battling the score is even, you've got to get on base to manufacture some offense. He'll take that every day of the week. Next to hit, Kyle Lewis. It was a base hit last time up.
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Okay, that was a good take. I was looking high for it. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Ooh, why would that curveball look so taunting, tempting, something? Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held on to behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that. Not a good at bat. Batter will be Shedlong Jr. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's gone two for six. 3-3 three, three our score with a man on at first and one away. Swing and a miss at the bender and it's even at one and one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. He's one for two in this one. Hanniger. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Racing back the left fielder on the warning track. He makes the catch. Mariners leave one. Oh, I didn't Five. put a new pitcher in. New inning set to get underway. All right, here we go. Bringing in Andres Munoz, 54 games, 4-5 and five record. 19 holds, 70, uh, 67.2 innings pitched, 2.13 ERA. 86 to 6 strikeouts to walks, 210 to whatever the other number was. And we'll see if we can get some, uh, get these guys sped up a little bit. We can also get to change their eye location, which is good. A lot of low stuff with, uh, with Sadler, who will walk away at best with a, or with a no decision in this one, so. He'll remain at 15 wins, which is fine. Also won't increase his uh, loss totals either. So. A little good, a little bad. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Mine to the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch down in the zone. You think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on first. Got to regroup. Stepping in now, Trey Mancini. As he will Definitely should have gone with the slider there. He's for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. Half on at first, nobody out. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Yuli Gurriel, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. And there's a base hit on the line. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you got problems all over the place. Well, you come right out the deck out right 
you're starting an inning fresh, you're expecting to have a one, two, three inning. You look up and all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out. It's time to make some good pitches. So now to the plate, Yuli Gurriel. Strike one to start the at bat. From the stretch. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Here's the 0 and 2. <sighs> I got the swing, but I wanted the miss. I wanted that strikeout. Runners are at first and third with none out. Can't believe that was called a strike. And two of the other pitches that were called in a previous inning were fucking balls. Figure out your fucking strike zone. Call Tom Cruise, get some new goddamn eyeballs, and give me that run back you fucked me over on. Mercifully, that was foul. That was a horrendous pitch. Strikes out, and oh boy, all he needed was a fly ball somewhere to give him the lead, but instead there are two gone now. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Big spot here, runners at the corners, two gone, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. First pitch coming, here it is. A ball and no strikes. Dude. Why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire? That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. Can't well, because it was a strike. What the, the fuck? This dude sucks. He was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Swing and a liner. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Boy, that has to feel good as... I've struggled all afternoon getting... Just getting hits, or getting them out, getting them done. That's again, another... Mm. This game is taking fucking forever because we keep getting a, both teams are getting a lot of hits. Looking to keep this one run game, the pitch. Two down runners at first. Motherfucking god. Hit in the air to straight away center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. They are finding the perfect spots to hit all these balls. Where just, I have nowhere, they can, no one can, they can get to them to catch it for the out. And or even challenge it at the home, at home plate. First pitch on its way. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Now some action out in the Houston bullpen as it appears both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Hit in the air to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Dan, it seems like they've had his number all game long. Yeah, Matty, I mean, the numbers don't lie. They've tagged him for 10 hits, including that last one, and he's having a hard time getting out of any trouble. They might be buying some time to let the relievers get a few more pitches in before they give him the hook. In now, Dylan Moore. 
No! Fuck! Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. To the plate now, Evan White. Line drive base hit. Absolutely scorched that base. God damn it. Some show track love that is so annoying. Ten miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Standing in now, Jose Marmalejos. As he grounds one briskly to short, he's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. One left for Seattle. Score holds at 4 3. I just, whatever. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfield. I'm so annoyed with myself. There's no reason for me to do that. Thirty-seven games, zero and two record, eleven holds, forty point one innings with a two point two three ERA, forty-one to two strikeouts to walks. That was a bad pitch. That was a really bad pitch. I was better. Better. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one. Ooh. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman, and he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. There we go. No hits for him so far. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, come on. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. Counts even one. Oh, and fuck one off. Alex Bregman. Brennan rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Ready with the one and one. And it's fouled away. The one, two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off it to even the count. Slider is just not going today. He doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. Shoots this one over to first. Reined in. Throw on to first. Two gone. Next here is Carlos Correa. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. There we go. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Yeah, come on. Where the offense can get rolling. Just sailed on me a little bit there. Hit to first. Fielded cleanly. 
There we go. Okay, had the three-run lead. It all fell apart, and then continued to fall apart. Looked unfocused. You unfocused, camera? What you doing? Doing okay? Hang on. Are you focused? Hello? Pedro Baez gets the call from the pen to take the I don't think this camera likes how much I move around. Pedro Baez, he has a 5.70 ERA. 6 and 10. Only 6 conver save conversions out of 10 attempts. 2 and 3 record. Good chunk of the lineup coming, uh, coming up for the Mariners. Four seam change up slider. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a fastball's in there for strike one. That is dead fucking center. Don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball. Oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was. Oof. Real early on the change up. And he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Ooh, damn. Short left center. Correa. Ranging into the outfield, he gets there and makes the play for the first out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range, heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box now, Ty France fouled off. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. Well, thankfully the Mariners have tomorrow off, so... Hopefully the Seager injury isn't too bad. I'll have to try and remember to check that at the end of the game. Before we open our baseball cards. Eleven hits and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Next to dig in, Lewis. He j that just that fucking froze me. Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Gotta find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Waved at and missed, and he's Fuck. behind 0 and 2. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bull. on 0-2, and the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Mariners are down in order. They still trail it here. That's a second strikeout. That's what I was more looking for on the previous at-bat when I got locked up on the fastball. Second strikeout with Lewis today. 11 hits, only three runs driven in. Some base running errors. Um, obviously, that, that double play was a huge problem. I sent a uh, base runner I shouldn't have sent to third, then tried to go back to second and got caught on that. Yeah, kind of, uh, kind of dumb. Could have been at least, uh, was probably another run, maybe two runs that I left on the, on the base paths. And I just, for whatever reason, I cannot get the slider down. I've just lost the flow. I've lost the feel on the slider. For every pitcher I fucking have.
Your strike zone sucks. So here is Ian Happ. So far, two for three in this one. Now here's the first offering. And he fouls this one off. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. Looking up is the left fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Three run lead and it's blown. Just a blown Small lead. Home run here off the bat of Ian Happ. Hmm. 19th home run for him on the season. And it's now five to three. And you know who's the happiest about that insurance run right now? The guys in the bullpen. They can now breathe a little easier knowing they have a bigger cushion to work with to close this one out. Man, I just... I don't know. I... That home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level... That is a fucking strike! Jesus fucking Christ, you worthless blue bastard. Oh my god. up a big series sweep but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality never easy to sweep any team but this is a close one and there's an old saying in baseball a bloop and a blast and if they can stay close get a base hit get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark they're not out of this one yet bases are empty here nobody out And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the kind of a bold move for me to go to the slider, considering I haven't been great with it. He fell behind two and to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Thank you for picking all of that up, microphone. At the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. A ball of no strikes. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back Team Morrell. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw gets him. Two down. Up next, Corey Lee. He's two for three and looking for more here. Pitch on the way. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Walton is there and the side is retired. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's now 5-3 Houston. Could have used some of those home runs I had in the last game today. That would have been nice. Ryan Presley, is on Ryan the Presley 47 the games with a 4-7 and seven record. 10 out of 19 saves and conversions, or conver whatever. Fucking who gives a shit. So fucking irritated. Of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up Shed Long Jr. It's kind of a, it's a combination of everything going wrong all at the same time. Getting fucked by the umpires on strike calls that should have been balls. That led to a guy that should have been a strikeout to be a walk. First pitch on its way. Off the outside. Some poor defensive plays, uh, but a lot of good hits by the Astros to put them in spots where I can't catch it or... Make a competitive play at the plate. Bad base running on a couple of opportunities for me. 
to maybe try and score some runs. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box... It is a 14 to 10. Angels and Yankees. That would have been a game to watch. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. What are you talking about? Shedlong Jr. is the guy. Oh, four-seam fastball, sweeping curve, and a slider. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Oh, I forgot it was a... Three and two. I forgot it was a two-run game. I forgot about that home run. That was ball four. Backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. That was a walk. I threw away a walk. Mitch Henniger flew out last time up. Henniger. First offering on its way. Fuck. That was it. That was it. That was fucking it. as he falls behind nothing in two. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Ground ball right into the shift. He's got it. And there's out number two. Now Stepping in next, Tom Murphy. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. One and two now. I keep I He's staying in this low part of the zone, but they've all been fastballs. Fouled off. Hard ground ball to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force, and with that fine play... The because he's so fucking in. slow. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They're still down 5-3. 11 hits. God, that's so fucking terrible. Ugh. Fletcher. Aaron Fletcher is going to come in. Uh, I have to... I actually have to go do something real quick. So I got to pause this video. Uh, we'll be back to conclusion in a matter of uh, seconds for you. Uh, but for me, it'll be a little bit. Hopefully, uh, that'll maybe help me regroup and uh, not suck fucking ass at this game. I don't know. We'll be right back for the bottom or the full ninth inning right after this. All right, we're back. So what was uh, multiple seconds for you in real life was like an hour <laughs> uh, for me. Let's uh, let's get this game done. Aaron Fletcher coming on in here, 33 games, a 1-2 and two record, 7 holds, 39.2 innings, 3.18 ERA. And uh, we have the full eighth or the full ninth inning. We have an opportunity to come back here, but I kind of doubt it. Haven't been great offensively today. Would love some of the uh, some of the offense from the previous game to show up, but I've struggled with command all day. Let's go another sinker. There we go. That one's a strike. 
Wish this dude would figure out his strike zone. We have another. Oh, there we go. That might be the best slider I've thrown all day, and it was still a ball. How? That's how bad the fucking sliders have been. Okay. Change up. All right. <clears throat> Top nine, here we go. To the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jose Altuve. They'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Ninth inning there we go. Sinker inside. For a cold strike. Ooh, boy. I... Turning for second is Altuve. He's going to get all the way to third. And tries for third. Damn it. I feel like this game, when you're playing on the difficulty, like the, the higher difficulties, I think it's harder to get sweeps. Uh, I did put Kyle Lewis out of position a little bit there. I do think that he probably would have still gotten a triple anyway, because he's quick enough for it. So far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. This is unfortunately going to go as a. This is going to go a loss as a loss for Munoz. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. That is back to back triples on the second pitch of the at bat. Wow. I thought that leaving for a little bit would be nice. It uh, it was not. Was that another? I was a slider. I think I said Fletcher. I meant Munoz. I, if I said that incorrectly, I, I apologize. But it will be a loss for Munoz. where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. God damn it. Just a touch outside. One and two. Breaking ball called just a bit. Fuck me. Jesus. right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slot. And that is off the first base bag. And he'll reach for Where in the fuck is this ball? Third crosses the plate. The third baseman, number two, Alex Stepping in now, Alex Bregman. Well, at least at this point, the uh, the runs that I maybe have given up wouldn't really matter. Wow. There's no one out. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. This one was my fault. I totally misplayed that with Hanniger in the outfield. He doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And that's in there. Base hit. Bregman rounds the corner and is headed home. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Great throw by Hanniger. Obviously, they got a little over-aggressive there. When you've got the lead like this, you can afford to do that a little more. We'll see if that lost run ends up being a factor at all. So now to the plate, Ian Happ. How was that a Oh my god, figure out your strike zone, you fucking piece of shit. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. The 0 and 1 delivery. The good thing about losing in the third or the final game of the series, we still get to open baseball cards after this. There's still a positive ending. It's a happy ending, hopefully. 
believe sooner or later this inning's going to turn around. The 1 1 home. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. Now this is out in front. Maybe tough to get two. Throw Barely inside. even got one. On a bang bang play at first. The Astros have 17 hits. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. From the stretch. Fly ball right down the line in left. Marmolejos able to track it down for the third out. So they pick up three runs on five hits, no errors, and one man left on. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Astros eight and the Mariners three. Blake Taylor of South. Well, that was a disastrous top half of the ninth. The ball now out of the bullpen. <clears throat> Digging in now for the Mariners, still and more. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. This one's flared down the right field line, and that's in there. Base hit. Hey, not a bad way to start the new month, D. Will. How about after that single? Well, that's his third hit of this game. Oh, that has to make you feel good. You see that? Remember when this game was three-one Mariners? That is. Everything is just crumbled. Falling apart. Into the box, Evan White. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Singled last time up. Fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. The 1-1. One -one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Stepping up is Jose Marmolejos. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, in the air out to fuck me. Has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Next, it'll be Donnie Walton. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. It's a good take. Looking high. On the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. In there, a base hit. All right, got him all the way around to third. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Ty France. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Real early on that. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. That's outside. That'll work. Now it kind of looks like, oh, shit, these, uh, those runs that I left on the field, not great. That was low. Fastball in there for a strike, one and one. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to... Oh, fuck my face. You have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Last chance for the Mariners. Now it's swinging a ground ball. This should do it. 
All right. Well, that was a disastrous end to the series. I that was weird. I just I couldn't get the offense to go. I I made some base running errors. I got fucked by the umps several times throughout that game, including that walk that was given up that should have been a strikeout. Um, it was tied after the fifth, and then gave the sixth uh, gave up the one run in the sixth and. Season. Yeah, it's just uh, things up for Mark it's just unfortunate. It's an unfortunate game. We were up three to one, and it was looking pretty good. But a lot of uh, a lot of mental errors down the uh, the tail of that game really put us in a bad position. Giving up the three runs in the ninth obviously just made everything way way worse. But you know, hey, it happens. It's no big deal. Uh, it's just. For whatever reason, the, the first of the month just continues to be a fucking nightmare. This is why I thought the game yesterday was so important, was to get that series win. Because uh, I didn't really think that I was going to have a whole lot of an opportunity to get one on the first of the month. Because I just played so fucking poorly on that day. I don't know why. Kyle Tucker uh, is your player of the game. 4 for 5 with 2 triples, 3 ribbies, 2 runs. Ian Happ was 3 for 5 with a home run, 2... Or a, a home run, a double, a ribby, and 2 runs. Altuve, 3 for 5. Bregman, one for five. Framber Valdez getting the win. Six innings pitched, 11 hits. Three strikeouts, one walk. <clears throat> three earned runs. He also hit a batter. Andres Munoz takes the loss. One inning pitch, three hits, two strikeouts. Did only give up the one earned run, but that was uh, obviously the deciding run. 30 hits between these two teams. Um, yeah. I don't know. It, I... It's nothing to be too mad about. I, I am irritated with it, but whatever. Got to fix the audio thing there. Okay. So good news is we did win, did win the series. Um, got the 2-0 win. Feels good. 2-1 victory in the in the first game. Real close. 10-2. Crushed them. They came back. Beat us. 8-3. Crushed us. You know, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Um, we had a ton of hits and just couldn't score. And just a number of errors offensively. And then a couple defensively that gave up another run or two. Um, that we probably should have. Triples leading to easy scoring opportunities. Stuff like that. Um, but we'll take tomorrow off. We'll regroup and we'll come back in Arizona. Hopefully feeling pretty good. Um, yeah, hopefully hopefully feeling good, I guess. Uh, there you go. But before we go, we have, to, uh, we have to open a pack of cards. I have picked the pack of cards. As we'll take a look at the calendar here. We'll just leave it on that. Uh, I forgot that I turned that off. That's fine. We have uh, six cards that we'll open. Hopefully it's light enough in here. I'm sure it looked weird. Pausing and unpausing. Wow, it's... Uh, a vastly different time of day. But that's uh, that's okay. All right. Uh, first up, we have uh, India. India for the Jonathan India of the Cincinnati Reds. That's your first your first card right there. These are the fun pack of cards that have some of the weird stuff that we've seen. I'm a big fan of these. Hopefully you are as well. Blackman for Colorado. We uh, destroyed Colorado in Colorado. I don't remember if we played well against them in Seattle or not. Oakland. I just don't even know when we would have played them. Oakland, San Diego. Cleveland, Tampa Bay. Two. Oh, it was a two-game set that was split. Okay. And then just crushed them. 13-2. to two. Woo. There. So there you go. You got Blackman. Ah. Hold on. Hold on. Things are going haywire. Uh, next up. Ooh, we have Daryl Strawberry. I kind of feel like I have this card, but I, I don't know off the top of my head. Daryl Strawberry for the New York Mets. Uh, we definitely have this card, but it's always a good to, always good to see this one. The blue spruce. We got that again. We have uh, 
Another New York Yankee, Tom Seaver. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a New York Met. I apologize. Tom Seaver. It's from uh, 1966. He's your wallet-sized hunk in this uh, this uh, installment. And then uh, we got another duplicate card. We got uh, Leo Kelly. Leo Kelly. We learned that he's a social media star um, who ranks something. Instagram page, Shirley Temple King, brutally honest reviews of non-alcoholic beverages. So there you go. Well, these would have been good cards if I didn't already have them. But that's that's just how it goes. I don't know how many cards are like in this series or whatever. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, we'll be back the day after tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific time, right here on YouTube.com slash Rex. Be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. If you enjoy baseball content, I enjoy making it. Hopefully you enjoy watching it. Tomorrow you'll get an episode of Chad Champ. Still at 1 p.m. He's pitched for the Milwaukee Brewers. So tune in to see what he does next. <clears throat> And tune in to see if my throat feels any better. Uh, it's very 50-50 at the moment. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wash this one off. We'll move on. 84-50 and 50 are the Seattle Mariners through 134 games. We are under 30 to go, uh, which is fantastic. And uh, looking looking pretty good. We're only three games ahead of the Angels. So it's it's close. It's close. One one disaster, and it could... Uh, whew, could could all go south but you'll just have to tune in to find out we'll see you tomorrow for chad champ and the day after in arizona thank you for watching and go mariners